I know people who have lived here for years and years and years, and I will say, oh, I want some sweet sap or breadfruit or something like this. And they'll be like, who? Mm -hmm. What that is? Oh, excuse me. They'll say, what is that? <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, how can you not know, know these, these things? things? You know? After you leave, you have a year to come back. Do you plan to come back to Cayman? At this moment, I would say yes, without a doubt. I'm coming back to Cayman. This is where I belong. But I can't say that indefinitely or with a guarantee because who's to know what's going to happen in a year's time or where I'll be or what the job market will be like and what opportunities I'll have. Things can change. So granted, I wouldn't leave if I didn't have to. And now I say, yes, I'm coming back. But who knows what the future holds. I love the small, quaint, quiet island that I was first drawn to. And it's changing. It doesn't have that feel like it used to. What about the people? Do you feel the people, the people have changed? No, I don't. It's funny because from when I was a little girl, I can still walk down the street or drive and have people wave at me that were my cab drivers then or that worked at the hotels that we would stay at um, or just friends that we made over the years. I have pictures from years and years ago and I look at them and say, wow, I never would have thought that I would still be here now and that I would have fallen in love with Cayman so much and these people would still be a part of my life. I think that the true Caymanians are the ones who have a genuine love for the Cayman Islands and wish to see that same beautiful uh, paradise, you know, remain. Um. How does Cayman make you feel? What makes you love Cayman to, to want to stay? You living here and then now having to leave on both, <laughs> both sides. How does that make you feel? Well, I've only started thinking about the fact that I have to leave recently. I need to leave next year in about a year. So it's made me so much more appreciative for the time that I've spent here and the things that I can enjoy and the privileges that I do have. For instance, yesterday, I went for a swim on my lunch break. <laughs> Because I couldn't resist the water. It was just so gorgeous. And I'll come back into work, you know, after my hour lunch, and my colleagues will say, let's go for a swim again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know a lot of people who would do that. And I appreciate those small things. The fact that I can drive around with my windows down. When I was back in the States, I couldn't do that because I was going 90 miles an hour. <laughs> But I like the fact that I can go, well, that I have to go slow here and that if I'm going to the grocery store, I'll have another friend call me and say, I hear you at Kirk's. So-and-so told me this and that. And <laughs> the familiarity when you walk into a place and to see people that you know, that's what I like about Cayman. How are you going to feel when you leave? Lonely. I will feel like a piece of me is missing. It feels right to be here. And I understand that I need to leave, so I'll deal with it. But that just, it doesn't negate what I've experienced and who I've become because of the people that have surrounded me and the people that I've come to know here.